Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Barky, and I'm here with another mod for RimWorld Alpha 17, and this is the Harvest Organs Post-Mortem. Quite a mouthful, but it's pretty obvious in what it does. It allows you to harvest organs once someone has died. So as you can see, we've got a perfectly normal fridge over here with tons of food and leather. I mean, dead bodies, sorry. And pretty much we can use these people to effectively increase our wealth to ridiculous amounts. Why? Because this mod is actually completely broken. But that's okay. You can play with broken mods. No one's going to judge you except for me. So anyways, what this mod allows you to do is go into the research tab and research these two. Basic autopsy and advanced autopsy, which requires a high tech research bench. So you won't get this too early. But this one you can get straight off the go. And it allows you to butcher people at a butcher table. Butcher creature for organs. Let's just do three of them quickly. And there we go. Jenny's getting right in there. Proving to us what she really enjoys. And boom. As you can see, we get some delicious food. A potential hat. And then as you can see, Jenny is carrying in a heart. Two kidneys, a liver, and a lung. And there we go. Take out the next person. And last one. And there we go. The build is complete. Well, I sleep on the floor next to it. Anyways, there we go. Kidneys. We got livers. We got lungs. We got whatever you could possibly want. So... That is basically what this mod allows you to do. So over here we have the Drixteel Autopsy Table. Obviously that is just the material it's made out of. Medically extract organs. Let's do it three times. And we have a different person doing it this time. I harvested organs. As you can see the debuff. If I could just open this. Uh, does stack. Can I just get a click? Over here. So what this changes is the amount of work it takes. So medically extract organs takes 13 work, requires medicine of 8. This takes 25, one corpse is just twice the amount. And so far I can't actually tell that much of a difference. When I initially wanted to record this video, the update actually came out as I was doing it. It used to just be the butcher table allowing you to do it. But that's it. So I had this body out here to try and test if you could do it with rotten bodies. You cannot. So you cannot use rotten bodies. So it pretty much follows the same way that a... Uh, Pretty much follows the same thing that a normal butcher's table follows and that you can't really use rotten food. And this may look like a bed, but it is actually just a table disguised as a bed, but you get it over here. But it's, it seems like you can rest on it, but it's also a table, so it's a little, little bit strange. Is this mod balanced? Absolutely fucking not. Not in the slightest. In fact, per body you can get a ridiculous amount of wealth. 1000 for the heart. Two kidneys, 1,800. That's another kidney, my bad. Seems like we're harvesting too many. 900 each for lungs. Stuff like that. Livers, 1,000. Uh, never mind, 900. So just to put that in perspective, you're getting four grand out of every corpse you have. Four grand. Quite the jump in wealth, unfortunately. Alright, so let's set this to forever. Yay, let's see how much food we can get. As we clear through these organs, pile drive them. And there we go. 38 kidneys, 19 livers. Obviously everything's going to be in singles or in twos because you can only get two out of them. But it's still pretty interesting. It does work with EPOE. But yeah, but this does this mod has a flat value for what you get out of them, which is unfortunate. But as the code has done, he's probably just made it a bill that you just get. This is just what you get out of it. Similar to taking Devil Strand cloth and making it into a duster you will get a devil's strand duster out of it you can change that so that if you take devil strand and put it into a crafting table for example you might be able to get seven or eight dusters you can change it yourself that's what this mod maker has done it has no relevancy to how to how you are enhanced and just to show this off we will kill you barky you're a bad representation of me in real life my hair is not blue so we're gonna kill him and then we're gonna butcher him and as you can see, he has bionic everything, everything, and luciferium. But he has bionic everything, just to show you off that this does not actually affect what you have. So we got the clothes, but still kidneys and livers. We got the, like, normal organic kidney and liver. Which is a shame. The mood debuff you get is uh, the harvested organs debuff, which you do get in the base game normally. And obviously you're going to be seeing observed corpse debuff quite a bit. 
Besides that, this mod doesn't do that much. It is interesting though, and I would like to see where this goes. Maybe if a better programmer comes along, someone who can do C sharp um, kind of programming and not just YML, they could probably edit this to make it so you get all the organs out of someone, which would be cool. I don't expect it to happen though, because that's quite an undertaking. Uh, but it would be really awesome to see. So if you think you may be able to do that, then go for it. Because right now, I'm not sure how much this mod will change. In no way is it balanced. And as I say this in almost every single video, it doesn't need to be for you to enjoy the mod. If you enjoy the mod, then just play with it. But I'm not going to ramble on for too much longer because that is it's just a very simple mod. And that's all it's meant to do. It's just meant to add another layer of fun to the game. Because Harvesting Organs is really fun. And recently with the Harvest Everything mod coming with the EPOE, which allows you to harvest effectively everything. Uh, you know, you can harvest legs and stuff. It is getting to the point of ridiculousness that Rimworld is just a harvesting organ simulator. Hashtag demonetized. Anyways, have an amazing day. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you all go well and I'll see you all tomorrow. And by the way, follow me on Twitch if you want to come hang on the streams. I've been streaming a lot more recently since I'm on holiday. It'd be awesome to have you guys there. Thank you very much. Bye bye everyone. Hey you! Thanks so much for making it to the end of my video. I really, really appreciate it. Editing videos is both my hobby and my passion. And with that in mind, I've decided to open up a Patreon if you'd like to support me besides in the amazing ways that my subscribers already usually do. I've got loads of perks and benefits, including having your own personally custom made colonist being one of my default colonists in the mod showcases, special roles on Discord, joining me while I stream, monthly Q&As and podcasts. I've got it all. Come take a look. All support is always appreciated, monetarily or not. If you're a subscriber, then be sure to hit the little bell over here to always be up to date with videos I push out. And head over to the Discord if you ever want to have a deep and meaningful chat with me. And last but not least, I hope you're having an amazing day.